Have you been hurt? Been hurt. Been back, back there. Got a talking back to you. Talking back. Well, you're not alone. No, no. Escaping to another reality. Through Dominic Wilkins' good book. Good books, audio books, paperback, e-book, good books. Available on author D. Wilkins, goodbooks.com. This is Brandon Royce, and you're listening to Jerry Royce Live Worldwide on PositivePower21.org. Hi, this is Miss Jessica Hughes, author of Blue Magic, A Prelude to Love, and I'm listening to Jerry Royce Live Worldwide. You are listening to PositivePower21.org with Jerry Royce. What up, it's your boy Kano Kingston. Hi, this is Angel Sessions. Hey, this is Pat. Hi, I'm Teresa Powell. Hi, Jerry, this is Iowa Sandro Carter. Hi, this is Phil Powell. Hello, this is Teresa Bobby with Jerry Royce Live. Hi, I'm Phil LeBurn. I'm live on the Jerry Royce Show. Hi, what are you doing? This is Boy Who's the Same. Hey, this is Dolly, the poet, spoken word artist. Hello, this is Ramon Marquis with Jerry Worth Live. All right, all right, everyone. we got Robin Lynn, and I'm keeping it live right now on Jerry Royce Live. Hey, what's going on, everybody? What's up? This is a war-winning podcast with the greatest podcast on earth. Thank you for stopping by. I'm your host, Jerry Royce Live Worldwide on Internet Radio where you get your positive on. So when it's all positive, it's all power. That's positive power. This is a worldwide podcast for growth, wealth, and success. Thank you. Think you know how drugs get in those little brown bottles? Think again. Set in the green hills of western New Jersey inside the gilded halls of power of a U.S. pharmaceutical company where decisions are worth billions of dollars and human lives worth less. Nicholas Harding, a young executive at Marshall Pharmaceutical, finds his career, family, and life in jeopardy. The Farmhouse, a suspense thriller novel by Bill Powers, published by Donna Inc. Publications, available at Amazon.com or DonnaInc.org. Go to Bill's webpage at www.authorbillpowers.com. Are you looking for the next great read? A book filled with love, passion, betrayal, and intrigue. The award-winning novel, Season of Change, by Tamika Patrice Kane, is sure to satisfy your literary sweet tooth. Check out this must-read book reviewers are calling uplifting and emotional and exceptionally great read, deeply intense and thought-provoking. Order your copy today. Available in paperback and ebook on Amazon.com or at www.tamikapatrice.com. Are you an author looking for promotional services or a reader looking for a great read at low prices? In this competitive world of books, Writing Royalty Promotions is dedicated to bringing authors and readers together to build a greater respect for literature through our various promotional services and online bookstore. So head over to writingroyaltypromotions.com and check us out. Thank you, everybody, for joining us, and welcome to Positive Power 21.org. I am Jerry Royce Live, and you're listening to Episode 312. That's right, 312. And tonight, our special guest is Jessica Hughes, also known as J.H. Poetry. All right, and we're going to have her on as soon as we hear from our sponsor, James Deshay, the Romance Man. Are you looking for a great book of poetry that is romantic, heartfelt, and full of male emotion? Then get Thoughts, Love, and Reflections by James K. Deshay. That's D-E-S-H-A-Y. Go to www.jamesdeshay.com. You will enjoy Thoughts, Love, and Reflections. Hi, this is Angel Sessions. And when I'm in town, I listen to Jerry Royce live, PositivePower21.org, where they play my favorite music. 
That's right. We play Angel Favorite Music. That's right. Gospel Sunday. You got to tune in. And also on Saturday, we're going to be introducing some comedy to you. That's right. And some R&B independence. That's right. Because we rock the independence on Positive Power 21.org. That's right. And tonight, we got another independent. I guess she's an independent. We'll find out. But we got Jessica Hughes, also known as J.H. Poetry. And her bio reads, Jessica Hughes, better known as J.H. Poetry in the cyber world, has been writing for more than 10 years. She was born and raised in upper parts of South Carolina as the only child to a single parent. She became creative early in life, and this imaginative seed grew well into her adulthood where she fell in love with her muse. During this time span, Jessica used the tool of poetry to express her voice. In doing so, she has been widely known as a diverse poetess. However, Miss Jessica's new, co- new collections of poems, Blue Magic and Prelude to Love, is a scope into the rebirth of her most intimate works. Her sensual intrigues, sensual sways, and romantic passages invite the reader into their own world of magic. This is where she draws you under her spell with potent words, vibrant metaphors, that prepare a feast for those who wish to partake in a bliss of love. Still, there's more for the reader to be thrilled about. The Blue Magic Edition will continue to be penned in the spirit of romance in upcoming years by no other than the poet herself. You can purchase her book at Creative Space, Lulu, and Amazon, and we will have the links available for you on her landing page on PositivePower21.org on Spreaker. All right, welcome to the show, J.H. Poetry. How are you doing tonight? Hello, hello, hello this evening, and how are you? <laughs> oh, I'm awesome. Glad to have you on the show. Okay, Glad you're blessed. You. We, <laughs> and we're so excited. That's right, we're so excited to hear you read tonight. That's right. Now, oh, before okay. we get started, before we get started in the first question, we wanna, we're going to give the audience a little taste of your work. So everybody hold tight. We're going to listen to uh, Hidden hitting, hitting hitting Agenda. All right? Here yes. we go. Okay. K.H. Poetry. Most of my life I have found refuge in my own prison. Even when my heart is played by many faces, they came to reside like serpents for a short while until their mission was complete. And I welcomed them with an open mind and hopes they would come clean. How can a rapper be a true friend to me? I got nothing besides headaches, pain, and unfulfilled pleasure. These oars will sink my home with this hidden agenda. I ignored all the warning signals, zooming past stop signs, yellow caution lights, and failing to yield the right of way. I was a needle in a haystack, the teen under the influence at the frat party. I gave her myself freely, too freely, until I started to become unglued, bit by bit by bit. They did not care about me. They did not ask of my needs. They sarcastically laughed at me under my roof. The roof that eventually crumbled around my head. I was losing it when my soul was almost taken. My heart broken to the meat. I began to consider my feelings. You know, it's a cruel punishment I would not place upon my worst enemies to be mistreated by the one who gave you life. It's all right. I have accepted that through my father's help. However, sometimes I just can't help myself from crying and wondering what did I do so wrong besides being born. And then anger would arise in a romantic song taunting me to strike back like a cobra. I often wish myself someone else or catch myself in a deep net of daydreams. Still, I had to confront my worst fears. There was no one to hold my hand, at least not on earth. I've always heard everyone needs somebody to love. There had got to be a reason for this. Was I a sacrifice? Only when the seasons change would that question be answered. The hour when the clock can finally stops on me. So I keep living and existing as my heart is driven to seek a better place. I've done wrong. I've shot it from the rooftops. Yet, those I've encountered refuse to see past my faults. The silent walks outside my window pane. I'll pray for them before I go insane. But the knocks at the door I hardly answer because... There must be a hidden agenda. I can't afford to lose anymore. Hidden agenda. Woo. <laughs> bringing nice. the fire, nice. bringing the fire, right? 
<laughs> yeah, I hear you. Okay. I hear you. Mm, all right. So, and 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 then we're gonna we're gonna we got a lot of questions for you. But the first okay. question is gonna be, who is J H Poetry? Mm, that's a good question, Jerry. <laughs> I tell you, um, um, it's so many multifaceted um, areas about me in my private, personal, and professional life that sometimes I don't know who I am, but I think I finally nailed it. And um, even though poetry's always been there, been there with me, um, uh, I think I finally know who I am, and I am a diverse poetess. I speak um, and I write uh, from experience, but I got a great imagination too, so I throw some of that in. But a lot of it is experience, and I'd be like, wow, really? I'm like, some things I just can't even write about. You understand what I'm saying? But um, mm-hmm. um, yeah. it stems from my Christian background, my upbringing. Uh, um, like I said, just just everyday life and then past experiences because you know I'm getting on up to a little bit. We're not gonna take my age, but um, <laughs> um, yeah. So that's me. And um, being the only child, you know, uh, mm-hmm. I, I grew up in the hood, in in the South, the dirty, dirty, right? So, yeah. um, in a deep well, I would call it you know, <laughs> the deep South. So, um. And I had, I lived in the neighborhood where it was a lot of other children, but still sometimes you get a little lonely when you're the only child. So I, mm-hmm. um, I, my imagination grew a lot. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> and as I, when I grew up and got my twenties, I only had one son mm-hmm. and, um, yeah, I only had one child. I'm the only child and he's the only child. And so, um, with him, um, his experiences um, growing up, I often try to teach him how to um, enjoy self, you know. And with that, and um, and how I learned to, you know, people sometimes don't know how to get along with themselves and enjoy themselves. And in doing so, I kind of found that my my joy writing when I couldn't have a sister or a brother to talk to. And I learned to write out my feelings and express my frustrations and my hopes and dreams. So um, um, that's where it stemmed from. And then it grew in, and it grew into this beautiful monster, I would like to call it. So, you know, it can be so crazy <laughs> at times, you know, <laughs> just manic, just manic. But I love it. You know, I can't do without it. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Mm. That's hot. Now, your son, how, how old is your son now? He's 21. Yeah. 21. So he's, okay. He's, he's 21, yeah. He's still a baby, and um, and uh, he, he is trying to get into the rap industry, which I don't mm. really particularly support, but if that's what he wants to do, go for it. But, uh, you know, I'm not a, I'm a big rap fan, you know. I like some hip-hop. But uh, the rap, I ain't too much into. But um, well, you know, a, I, a lot I'll of people say uh, a lot of people say that rap and, and poetry is, you know, kind of connected in a way. Well, you know, and I thought about that. And I was like, oh, you finally got this from your mom. <laughs> That's I was right. Like, he just put his own spin on it. Right, right. So um, I um, I thought about that too. I was like, well, you know what? He might flip that one day and sing mm-hmm. because people don't know things about J.H. or Jessica uh, Hughes mm-hmm. that I also was a singer before I started writing. I actually wrote oh. lyrics to songs. Yes, I, I have I have uh, demos and uh, where I was singing, I'm a, I was an R&B singer or expiring wow. R&B singer. And because mm-hmm. of certain things in my life, um, I did not pursue that career further, but I never mm-hmm. stopped writing. I wrote my own songs and I have copyrights to six of them. So that's mm-hmm. something people don't know about me. So a lot of times I have a lot of mu- musical or musicians mm-hmm. who are my Facebook friends. And I bet people wonder why, mm-hmm. but that's the reason why. Cause I like, I love music too. That's another, another passion yeah. of mine, but, but, um, yeah, no, of course um you kind of took over. This, um, 
You think um you think positive power will get will get an opportunity to to hear hear your music? <laughs> well, I mean, I don't I don't like I like to I like to put good product out there. <laughs> <laughs> and um, and <laughs> I would put it that way. So we're not gonna do positive power like that till it's until right, it's ready. Okay. You know. Mm-hmm. All right. So you re- okay. So you still. So you. So now you're ready to pursue music again. Is that is that what you're saying? I know. I know. I think I'm gonna let my son take over with that. You know. Better. Let's see where he goes with it. You know. I'm gonna yeah, stick with my poetry. Okay. I, I I know. I stick with that. I'm I'm comfortable with it. We got this cozy relationship. So, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I like it. I mean, I, I like what's going on with Spoken Word. You know, now people, mm-hmm. you know, they land some really good tracks. You have some great producers out there that's, you know, working under their own independent, you know, labels. And, um, yeah. you know, it's affordable. Uh, you got the equipment now. You know, you can produce some really good you're stuff. Right. So you're right. I'm, I'm you're right. You're right. You might talk me back yeah. into it, Jerry. <laughs> yeah, you might talk me right. back into it, you know. I thought about it, and I was like, yeah, I mean, I was like, yeah, this is sounding good. I have listened to a lot of spoken word artists, and they are good, but I'm not, you know, I'm not really, uh, I'm not experienced in spoken word. So I listen, and I'm trying to also learn from them, but um, Mm -hmm. I can see whether, you know, the music and stuff is coming in. They they just like spitting it with the beat, and I'm like, I'm like enjoying it also, yeah. Mm-hmm. I love it. I, I've been enjoying pretty much every. I mean, everybody has their own flow, which you know it takes time to define your style. Because I mean, of course, you're gonna listen to some people. Because like right now, I'm I'm following a spoken word artist. Now she just got started, just coming out of the gates. But I love her style, and you know, and I remember her saying she's been listening to people on YouTube. But she and she found herself already, which is, I guess, is pretty unusual, you know, in the arts. You know, you find your style, you know, pretty fast. Right, so, it, you know, right. Yeah. Because I'm like, yeah, so. like, um, you know, I'm a, as in my bio, I'm a diverse, I'm a diverse person. I would like to say mm-hmm. it like, um, use another word, flexible. So, you know, I, I write from dark to light. And with this um, book, Blue Magic, A Prelude to Love, mm-hmm. I'm actually sticking, and I'm so proud of myself, I'm sticking to one subject, and I want to carry on a second edition with this book because um, it's something that I really, uh, I enjoy writing all type of, all types of poetry. Um, mm-hmm. But with this one, I'm kind of sticking with the love and romance, and I'm, I don't know, maybe I'm leading up to something. What you think, Jerry? <laughs> <laughs> but you know, I'm yeah. sticking with this, and uh, um, I'm moving towards. Because I used to write very dark, if you didn't know that. Mm-hmm. And mm. I'm, yeah, I did. And as time went on, and I became friends with more spiritual and um, I would say light poet, poetists mm-hmm. and you know poetry writers. And um, I was like, you know, I can do this. And I can do this, and I can do it better. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. What I can, and um, yeah. and I did. <laughs> so I Good. really got into yeah. it, and um, and I and I enjoy it. So. Yeah, that's, that's the main thing. You're having a good time and fun with it. You, right. I mean, you're going to find yourself, you know, writing your life in different chapters. You know, you, and I've, I've heard that all the time. You know, poets start off dark because that's where they are right now. And, it's, right. and maybe the place you are in now is love. You know, you want to, you mm-hmm. know, sell people on love again, which we don't hear enough of. You know, we need it, you know, in this world we are in now. Oh, you so got I, that I say right. Kudos to you. You know, good for you. Thank you. you know? mm-hmm. Yeah. Because it's yeah. like I'm moving from the dark to the light, even though I'm not saying that everything in my life is uh, grand, but, you know, mm-hmm. I am moving in that direction. and I'm, I'm loving it, that, that style. That's right. That's right. And who I am is, a I mean, freestyle who out there writer. can say that? <laughs> yeah. yeah. There you go. Yeah. Yeah, everybody um, got their, you know, their ups and their downs, you know. It's just the way life is, you know. Oh, yeah. All right. You are. Sounded right. good. Now, yeah, and I wish his son the best. You know, like you said, he's going to go through. Like, I had a guy that was on a couple of days ago. He was mm-hmm. a rapper, and um, and he moved into comedy. And then there was another guy just uh, was introduced today. I haven't met him yet officially, but I heard he was a rapper. Now, he's a publisher, so you just never know, you know, where he goes. You know, starting out right. young, you know, that's what he, that's what yeah. he know right now. You know, that's mm-hmm. his game. 
Mm-hmm. And, and remember, I was telling you that that piece you heard when we opened up, when we were talking. Um, that guy was a rapper. I was telling you about. Now he's a preacher and has a, a, a <laughs> gospel group that that does uh, wow. you know, rap. And, and a few of them are really successful at it. That's in the gospel arena. That's doing rap because the kids, the young kids, need something. You know, they oh, need yeah. something too. Oh yeah, but and they want some beats. They want to be able to dance. You know, jump up and down and praise the Lord. You know. All right. Okay, well, we're ready to take our break. When we come back, we're going to listen to, to J.H. Poetry lay us um, some live stuff. She's going to go live. Um, we had another recording, but we elected not to play it. But, we, you know, she's going to go live and maybe give us some more stuff later on, right? Yeah. True that. <laughs> That's right. Okay. Because I'm not sure if you heard the, the uh, Super Poetry remix that we had last Sunday. And, man, people have been excited about it. And uh, we've been... We've been playing that around the clock, so we might play it again um, tomorrow night. All right? Friday night, Super Remix Poetry, 12, 12 Poets. So we want we hope to include you with that group, okay? I, I, I want to be there. All right. Okay. All right, y'all, we're going to listen to a, a piece from Merlin Dunn, her music buzz for today's show. Here we go, Merlin Dunn and her husband, Kevin. Hi, I am recording artist Marilyn Dunn from St. Louis, Missouri. If you are looking for some soul-stirring, anointed, spiritual, and heartfelt music, visit my website at www.marilynnministries.com. Or you can also find me on CD Baby, iTunes, and Reverb Nation. For booking information, contact Mr. Kevin Dunn at 636-856-0551. That's 636-856-0551. Are you an avid reader of urban fiction, looking for drama, suspense, and more? We to a publishing is dedicated to bringing the world's best literature to our readers. Urban fiction, erotica, sci-fi, mainstream fiction, and children's literature are just some of the genres produced by our diversified family of authors. You can reach us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and at our website, www.reeswellpublishing.com. Hey, hey, this is director, producer, Alan Wills, and I am on Positive Power 21 with Jerry Royce Live. And when I'm online, I listen to Jerry Royce Live at www.freaker.com backslash positivepower21.org, y'all heard. All right, that's my boy, Big Alan, the, the short film director, making things happen. All right, in Indianapolis, that's right, I, I got to drop that, my man from Indianapolis. All right, we we back with J.H. Poetry. She just laid down her life in 15 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> the, You're so the crazy. Only child, <laughs> had her only child, raising right. a rapper. And right now we're ready to talk about her book, Blue Magic, A Prelude to Love. And I'm just so glad somebody's writing about love so now I have something to listen to. Now, now J.H., now we know you have this paperback. Any any um, chance of you working an audio version so so the, so the fellas can, can just put our headphones on and just sit back and enjoy your soothing voice? Any chance of that happening? It's, I'm not going to count it out. It is a possibility, but... I like to try. I'm, I am a perfectionist, and I know that's that's crazy, but I want to get more <laughs> into you know perf- try to perfect my audio because my southern my southern slang, you know. <laughs> it just gets, we love you know, it though. <laughs> and sometimes it, it just gets in the way. I mean, seriously. Uh, so I'm like trying. Oh, Jessica, Jessica. <laughs> Don't you know the Northerners? We just love some Southern Bell. We love to hear your voice. Man, That's don't worry right. About ain't, nothing, ain't nothing like a Southern Bell. Because <laughs> I'm gonna tell you, every morning. Well, it hasn't been every morning lately, but um, when I, when I first started working in, in this new office I'm in now, it was a um, 
a young lady from Dallas. And I used to love to hear her come in and say, good morning, y'all. Good morning, Jerry. And she's only worked one day a week now, so I don't get to see her like I used to. Plus, she moved her off her cubicle. And I, and I saw the other day. I just love hearing her, her speak. So just to tell you all of that, give it a shot. See what okay. happens. Okay. Doesn't hurt oh, trying. Cause b- believe me, for those of us that's kind of unfamiliar with the world of poetry, you know, I love poetry, but I can't read it. You know, I don't get the same out of it, you know, like I do when I listen to it. You know, it'd be just like me trying to sing Michael Jackson's song, but it mm-hmm. just won't happen. <laughs> you know, I, I want to hear uh-huh. him sing. You know, right. it's like you go to them okay. concerts, right, and you hear somebody singing a Rihanna song, you try to hear Rihanna sing. You don't want to hear them singing, mm-hmm. right? Right. Same right. thing. Yeah. So come on now. Mm. Make it happen. All right. All right. Well, let's talk about this book. Um. Well, are you ready to read something and we can start talking about it? You want to do that? I'm sure I can do um, a piece. Yeah. It's, in, it's, entitled, uh, it's entitled Lying Here. <clears throat> All right. Okay. So. I allude back to my luminous morning. He was the one who inspired me to slow dance with poetry. At first, I rebelled against my feelings. The thought of I and poetry engaged in such an act left a pondering. For poetry is a universal language only the rarest of the rare can transcend. But as he spilled from his soul, my closed heart began to open. My pen began to wiggle into the deepness of this divine expression. And then he left like a fleeting ghost. This is when I became the lonely poet. Days could go by and I would visualize his orchard lips to caress my insecure ink will. In the noonday, I'd spend hours feeding on the substance I held dearly. Warm sunrises, my sounding pulse and dwelling on his enticing words. Every day my pen would feather. Every day I would become fonder of the man who freed these lips of mine. Nowadays, the wind blows a little softer under my chin. Into me sits a little longer as I girdle my love story. The tassel upon my brow awakens the goddess of writing, and he panels right beside me as I lose myself within a lucid light of poetry. Lying here in peace. Mm, beautiful. See, I like that. Yeah, and I've been laughing too much, and so my voice is very, ah, you know. But anyway. Mm, you sound good. You sound good. And, Take my word And plus, it. it's, it's getting late, you know. It's getting a little late. And my voice is stronger in the in the morning. <laughs> no, I mean, you got to hit the studio early then when you, when right. you, when you drop it. See, see, I'm a former singer, so I know that. I'm like, oh, my gosh, my voice is uh, a little weak, but... uh. Anyway, I think I did all right. Yeah, I, I enjoyed it. Believe me. I, I think the other guys out there, I, I think I could speak for the other gentlemen out there that's listening. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's right. Listening. Well, thank worldwide you. Worldwide now. Yeah, I love it. All right, let's 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 talk about it now. Mm-hmm. What was that piece about? Well, it goes way back. Um, and... Uh, Actually, it was another poet. He was a male poet. Poet um, when I first started um, writing, and uh, I would post my poetry in groups. And he, you know, it's funny how things one thing leads to another. But he said something um, that wasn't nice. I'll put it that way about my my poetry. And from there, I'm the type of person, I, you know, person tell me, you can't do this, you can't, you are, you no good at this. And I'm like, okay, I'll show you. And at the time, he was the moderator, I think he was the moderator of some other group. And mm-hmm. um, I had just kind of started really getting into poetry groups and stuff and writing in poetry groups. So, and learning form and style and all that, formatting and style and techniques and different you know, the di- different general genoires or whatever poetry. So right. I was just really writing out my feelings, basically. And after he said that, it kind of hurt my feelings. So I was like, I'm going to show him. And from there, uh, I began to um, do more research, which I was slacked on that, but I did more research and um, I became better and 
and I grew and did more writing and grew, grew, grew and just, and I was like, okay, now what? <laughs> you know, I come back, you know, and I did, and then I posted again in the group, maybe it might have been a whole year. And people was like, oh, man, I really like this. And I got all kind of nice comments. And I was like, really? Oh, wow. So I'm yeah. finally learning this art because it takes time and it takes um, effort. And, you know, you really have to love what you're doing to keep doing it and trying to perfect it. And uh, sometimes life does get in the way. You don't have, you know, you can't do as much as you would like. But um, mm-hmm. at that time, I was, you know, I was growing and really um, – doing a lot of research um, on different styles of poetry. And um, and I did a couple of pieces in the group, and um, that's where that come from. Ain't that, ain't that something where, yeah, where that poem right yeah. there stem from? Um, mm-hmm. And a lot of times I go back. That's a throwback. Um, mm-hmm. I go back and I redo. So I might, might be something simple out of one poem. I'll go back and look at it and be like, what in the world was I thinking when I wrote this? <laughs> I'll go mm-hmm. back and redo the the whole thing back over. So I think uh, right. a lot of artists do that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we do that all the time. I mean, graphic designers, you name it. All right, Jess, you ready for another piece? We ready for another piece. We don't want to run out of time. Oh, my goodness. Let's see. Okay, let's see. Um, <clears throat> I'll take more love. Take care of love. Cuddle with it. Cool its lullaby. Trace it in the sky, among the tender night air. Be love. Give it as a treasure, the antique of a golden age. Be brave as the tales, fables, and nights you speak of. Bury it within your soul so it will be available 24-7. And the portrait you portray will be more beautiful than ever when it is shown with love. Whisper to your spouse, causing your intimacy to prosper as lovely as a rose. Love makes us better people. The world exists longer. It is free, yet so worthy. And what's put at its top is that it goes nonstop. Make it desirable as a chocolate sweet. Dream its dream and live it fully. Do it for you. Do it for me. But most importantly, do it for thee. Set the example in the light of the sun. Always remember God is love. So I'll take more love in peace. Mm, I like that. Wow. Yeah, I'm sorry my voice is so it gets hoarse like that. I'm so sorry, but anyway. No, nah, you was great. You were great. <laughs> now that just means that we really want to hear what you sound like. So now you have to um, you have to either send me some more poetry or you have to do audio. In a right, studio. I'm not gonna do audio because see, stuff. then I can tape it, you know, and my voice won't be hoarse at night. And um, yeah, because it it gets a little scratchy, especially when I laugh, and you make me laugh, Jerry. Because you are like so. And what's crazy, gonna happen? Well, what's gonna happen, cool. Jessica? When you start doing those um those sets at night in those nightclubs, you know where they have those poetry slams and and um you know shows going on, they're not gonna ask you to come in in the morning. People come out at night because they want to get their drink yeah. on. Mm-hmm. Well, what I do, I do some like some rituals, and then I won't talk. I won't talk. Make sure yeah. if I'm going like if it's on a weekend or whatever, I won't talk a lot because that that'll save mm-hmm. my voice. You know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Drink like some warm well, tea. Uh, prepare for that. Yeah, I, I think the I think the guys like what they heard tonight. It wasn't all about the sound. It was about you know the words. You know we were feeling the words. Right, you know? right. Listen to the words. To, you know. That's right. That's what it's all about. That's what Blue Magic is, right? The prelude to love. That's right. Take it back. That's right. Just released. That's right. Just released expect. in January. That's right. Where can people um, get your book at? Um, they can buy it at lulu. dot com createspace.com and mm-hmm. amazon.com. Now, if they go to um, create space, they get the paperback, but if they go to Amazon, they get the digital version. Is that, is that how it works? Yeah. Amazon is on uh, Kindle and, uh, and, and book paperback. Mm-hmm. Oh, I didn't get both. Okay. So mm-hmm. That's both. awesome. Mm-hmm. All right. right. All right. Now, do you have any spoken word venue set up for this year where people can hear you live? I'm working on that, Jerry. Don't you? Is he like, Jerry is like rushing me. <laughs> he stopped rushing me. Oh, okay. Uh, well, you did. Yeah, okay. Well, you just dropped your book in January. I was just wondering. Right. I mean, a lot of people, you know, they get they get agents now. They get 
public relations. These people were like setting up shows and programs, and you know, because we just came through Black Black mm-hmm. History Month. You know, you, you, know, you, you, you want to sell books, real. right? You gotta get out there. You, I know you, you like pushing. There. You you need to be my agent, my um. You know you you need to be my mentor. <laughs> Yeah, I'm a, I'm a okay. be your, right. You're in the family now. So that's what I was saying. Right. You got to listen to these shows, man. These people are grinding. They are working hard. I know. You know I know. Competition I mean, out there, you know. I know. You, you want to get out, you Look, know. your son 21. What you doing all day when you get home? Your son 21. It's time to work. Well, Jamea, I, 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 have, I have things to do. <laughs> I have things to do. And I mean, but, you know, I always make time to write in, um, um, I use it. I also use it for relaxing tools. So sometimes I just write, and I just, you know, when I'm relaxing, I sit down, I write, and and just let it flow. But I'm oh, I'm I did one one uh, SoundCloud, and it's called In the Still, and it's a little racy and erotic, a little sensual, because you know, you know I'm known for that also. So um, right. Yeah. Um, I mean, people so like I, this I'm stuff. I'm starting. I'm audience. starting. Okay. Yeah. So. Well, I but, appreciate um, the, you know, radio-friendly, you know, piece. But look, Jessica, we're going to take a quick break. So when you come back, we're running out of time. Okay. Um, when you come back, we want to get your final thoughts. So hold tight. Okay. We're going to listen to another episode of, um, of Book Buzz, all right, with Tanika Kane. I mean, mm, sure. Tamika, did I say Tanika Kane? Tamika Kane, I'm sorry. And I didn't even have her queued up yet. All right. Here we go. Are you looking for the next great read? A book filled with love passion, betrayal, and intrigue. The award-winning novel, Season of Change, by Tamika Patrice Kane is sure to satisfy your literary sweet tooth. Check out this must-read book reviewers are calling uplifting and emotional and exceptionally great read, deeply intense and thought-provoking. Order your copy today, available in paperback and ebook on Amazon.com or at www.tamikapatrice.com. Hey everyone, this is Tamika Gonzalez, open word poet. Whenever I'm online, I'm always listening to Jerry Royce Live. You can find Jerry on www.speaker.com. Positive Power 21. All right, that's Tanika Gonzalez out of Florida, spoken word artist. She had her first show doing Black History Month, and, he, and she tore it up. She was she was on YouTube. All right, we got Jessica. We, we expect to see Jessica pretty soon on YouTube, also doing a doing a live set for for her fans that she about to receive. That's right. For that's right. And, and man, love to my oh. fans. <laughs> that's right. Give us a set. That's right. And upload it. All right, Jessica, your final words for my audience, you know. Okay. Um, I would just like to thank you and your audience for listening in. And I got mad love from my Facebook friends. I mean, they are so supportive and they are crazy, sexy, cool, all of that. And um, please purchase the book because um, it's something that you can give all year round. It's not just for Valentine's Day. It's every day of the week, 24-7, 365. So through Magic of Prelude to Love, and it's um, going to be a second edition coming out soon. And hopefully I'm going to be working on some audio because Mr. Jerry Royce, he's talked me into it, and he's gave me a challenge, and I love that. So yeah. um, I appreciate it, and thank you for letting me be on your show. You're welcome. All right, Jessica, I tell them all the time if they want to hear the good stuff, just like they heard Jessica Hughes, J.H. Poetry, that's right in Cyber World. She talked, told us, well, pretty much told us her whole story, how she got started. You know, started out as a singer, now a poet, now she's in business for herself, pushing her brand new book, Blue Magic, a prelude to love. We, we need a lot of love in this world, and we appreciate you being here. And please tune in, everybody, to our other episodes featuring other poets, musical artists, and gospel singers that's right this is joy voice live worldwide take care everybody and stay awesome all week long peace
Thank you for tuning in to Jerry Voice Live on Positive Power 21.org and Spreaker.com forward slash Positive Power 21. This is a Voice Enterprises production. And don't forget about replay on Facebook.com forward slash Jerry Voice Live.